Lola friends, Dapper Drabby here, and welcome to another deck tech. I hope this is working. I'm trying a different program, as you can see. This is a face cam here, and I can almost touch it. Um, yes, it says it is recording, so I'm hoping it is recording. But we're going to see how this works out for us, and let me know if you guys like it. Um, this is kind of the setup. I'm trying to go with the streaming mentality. Um, so we'll see, you know, if it works for, uh, recording as well. But we're gonna jump right into this. Um, I'm hoping it's not skipping freezing, because it's still running my CPU pretty hot. But we'll see. So, what we're playing today is Mewtwo. Mewtwo is under pressure. Has that ability. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon's attack do 20 less damage. Now... This is interesting because that means you have to do 140 damage to it in, in order to knock it out initially. We plan on putting a Fighting Fury Belt on it, which will bump its HP up to 160. Which means you have to hit it for 180 to knock it out. And it's a non-EX. So I'm, I'm trying to do... I didn't really add enough healing cards in here actually. But uh, I'm trying to do that where it's like trade a... Trade two shot for two shot, um, but have our two shots be these uh, one attackers. Super bolts. It's three psychics, but it's not terribly hard to set that up, as proven with uh, many popular decks right now, like Buzzhole or uh, Dusk Main Necrozma. You just use some max elixirs and stuff like that. You can get set up pretty easily, and um, it allows you to. Uh, you know, use this attack pretty quickly. It's like a fighting fury belt. We're gonna be hitting for 110 most of the time, and this pairs really well with the other things. Thing. So obviously, Mewtwo is the baseline. Hey, it's my deck. This is not a sham. I'm just a little under pressure. So we're playing Mewtwo. We're playing. Uh, well, that's. I wanted to show you this one first. We're playing this Mewtwo as well, Psychic. Since we are playing a couple double colorless, we're able to toss this in. Uh, and hit it, hit some things for big numbers when we need to. This does come in handy every now and again with that ev from Evolutions, if you guys are interested. Uh, we are also, let's start here at the beginning. This is just in case you run into Greninja Breaks. Now, you won't really see these too often when people are doing deck tags because it's just like, it's a tech you throw in to stop Greninja Break and nothing else. I just know Greninja Break would literally wreck this deck and... Um, the way I've been seeing online, it's like a lot, a lot of people were playing metal for a while. So when a bunch of people play metal, people start playing like Volcanion or Ho-Oh to get past, well Ho-Oh can just one shot it anyways, but they start playing fire types in order to beat up the metal types. And then the thing that beats the, uh, the fire types, Volcanion in particular is Greninja and other water types, but Greninja is usually the most popular. So Greninja comes out when Volcanion comes out. So it's just like this weird triangle thing that happens that we're trying to just avoid altogether. So we're playing Giratina Devour Light just to stop that Greninja break. We're playing Latios Breakthrough because I was like, eh, it could use it. It could it could help set up those those one shots. So I thought, why not? Let's play Latios Breakthrough. And we got the promo one from the lunch box. We're playing Lunala Prism Star, which I believe is the best Prism Star. And there's a big debate always about what's the best Prism Star. This thing does the same thing as Solgaleo Prism Star, and Solgaleo gets all of the uh, the praise. The main difference is second attack. Uh, Solgaleo does a base 160, and that's it. This one, same attack cost, does 20 damage times the amount of all energy attached to all Pokemon. That is yourself and your opponent. So I really like Psystorm a lot. I like Psystorm being like my final go-to. Like it's basically an, like another GX attack. So Psystorm is great. We try to keep Lunala around for that reason. And so the reason why we keep Lunala around is by copying its attacks with Mew. Memories of a Dawn. This Pokemon can use the attacks of any of your basic Pokemon in play. So we're gonna be playing that Lunala Prism Star. Putting on the bench and then putting down Muse one energy to move all those energies onto the board, and then eventually attack with Lunala Prism Star. 
There's our main guy. We're also threw in one Mewtwo GX just because, you know, we don't have anything that... We have Latios really only. It has like a one energy attack, so we threw Mewtwo GX in here just in case. It can kind of hit some numbers if we need it to. Or it's a good like backup like, oh, it has more HP so it can survive a little longer. We're also playing Necrozma GX in here. For that Black Ray GX is kind of our preferred GX attack as it'll put 100 damage on all those GX EX Pokemon so that they're easier to clean up with Mewtwo. Mewtwo just hits them once and they're done. Um, and that's kind of will help a lot. Uh, also, we're playing two Tapu Leles. Actually, there was a ch there was a change I wanted to make, wasn't there? No, it wasn't. Okay, not in this deck. A different deck. I was playing a different deck l or later on. I need to make a change. But we're playing two Leles, so we can search for those cards we need. Our uh, ideal turn one is either. We actually don't play Bridget. Our ideal turn one is going to be a Lily. Get those eight cards. Um, but if we don't, that's okay as well. We are playing four Max Elixirs. That is our item of choice to be able to get as many Psychic Energies on the board as quickly as possible. Playing two Nest Balls because we play all basics. We don't play any evolutions whatsoever, so Nest Ball works except for Tapu Lele. Play four Ultra Balls still because Ultra Ball is kind of the standard. and We want to be able to throw some Psychic Energies into the discard pile. So Ultra Ball is really the best. I think eventually this deck could... If it's viable, it's kind of on teetering on that edge. Um, I think you could replace Ultra Ball with the Mystery Treasure that's coming out in the next set. But also, with that in mind, next set, if you really want to play this, you could totally take out Latios, the Mewtwo, and maybe something else to put in those Malamars in order to get those energies back just a little bit easier. I would keep the Lunala Prism Star because it's just too good. But that way you can recycle energies. So you get them get them from the deck and then bring them back from the discard pile. And you'll never be short on energies. We're playing three Altar of the Moon. I don't think I originally had a stadium in this. But this one's kind of too good for this deck in order to uh, ignore it. I originally had some um, Dawn Wings and the Cosmos in here. But Altar of the Moon just works better. You know, tree cost any Pokemon, both yours and anyone that has Psychic or Dark Energy attached to it has two less. Everything... We play has two or less uh, retreat cost, I think, except for maybe Giratina. Oh, no, it does, too. So two, one, three, so it's the Prism Star. Uh, two, 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 one. Yeah, so everything we play has uh, two or less, so everything's going to have free retreat when all the moon is out, as long as it has a psychic energy attached to it. Cynthia, that's our girl, our champion. We're playing three of her. <clears throat> general draw support. I like this one a lot. We're playing four Guzmas, which I think is pretty much standard in most very competitive decks. We want to be able to knock out the things we want to knock out, so why not play four Guzmas? One Lily for that first turn. Eight cards. Two in because we're really opting for more uh, Cynthia's than ends, and I think we're playing a total of uh, ten uh, draw supports. So that's, you know... Three Cynthia, two N, one Lily, and then the rest are Sycamore. Although it says we only play two. I think we play two of this kind, one of this one, and one of that one. We're playing four Sycamore so we can get stuff out as quickly as possible. Fighting Fury Belt is, an is our another item of choice. This allows us to make our uh, Mewtwo's a little more durable. They can take one more or two hits, so that's why we play Fighting Fury Belt. And then Float Stone. For those just in case moments, I actually wonder if I should take out the flip zones. They're not as necessary. So let's drop that down to two, bump this up to four, and throw a random choice band in there. I think that's really the best option. And then finish it off, we have two double colors and 11 psychic energy. But we're going to go ahead and throw a choice band in here real fast. Unless it's like up top here. It could be, but I don't see it, so we're... Eh, we already started moving for it. There's nothing we really need from the... Oh, there is. If we prize Prism Star, we're done. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw a Gladium in here. Oh, that works. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. We'll put it down in the description below. 
Um, one more look at it right here. And we are going to take this and check it out um, in the versus ladder. Tune in tomorrow. Are you sure you want to discard them? No, I forgot. I need to save this. It is under pressure. Such, such a shame. Our sham. I think I was going to say sham. Such a sham. So under pressure for short because you can't you can't spell all of that. So why not? We were playing some Zorak Weavile earlier, but under pressure. Such a sham. Is it up here? In there? It's over here somewhere. So you can see I, I look into a lot of decks, so it should be up here, right? Oh no, I lost it. I should have picked it out before to record. There it is. Under such so a sham. We're looking for an opponent. Let's see who we find. Makawaki with a very psychic fighting deck. This must be a sil uh, sil um, Sylveon box. I don't know. <laughs> Something to that effect, right? Oh no, I'm blocking this guy's face. You can't tell who he is the whole time. The whole time. Wow, what is this start? So Mew has the free retreat. Done our main guy. Me too. We're gonna save the Necrozma. So one, we have a small hand, and two, so uh, in case they are not playing a lot of GXs, we can kind of stop. But they're definitely playing GXs. They're playing. They're playing Gardevoir Glade. So we'll see how this matchup ends up. Ooh, I get three more cards. Yeah, I'll throw that on then, the Crossman. Scare them. Scare them right away. Next, starting off with a double Ralt. And it's their turn. They get to go first. Alright, so where are we starting with? They're starting with a Psychic Energy, some Float Stones, a Fighting Fury Belt. I like to toss that on that right away. Um, Float Stone's not super necessary, but we'll throw one on Necrozma. I just don't want any of these cards in my hand. I don't want any of them in my deck, I should say. We get the Tabu Lele! We get the Altar! Um, da da ba. So we could attack if I put Tapu Lele down. No, I can't. I'd have to retreat. That's no fun. Uh, we're still gonna do it, I guess. Ah, oh, we missed it anyways. Point. Moot. Uh, so we'll hang on to the Tabu Lele, hang on to the Nest Ball. Is there anything I can do? I can encounter and grab a Pokemon. I could just Nest Ball, though. Alright, let's Nest Ball. We're safe scenario, we're gonna find something we want. Oh, we could Full Burst. Is that better or Full Moon Star? See, this is the question. Lunala Prism or Mewtwo GX, which is the better bet here? Let me look at the playmat. Um, in this case, it's definitely Mewtwo. As much as I hate to say that. So we're gonna do 30. We'll do 30, I guess. Okay, so 
how's their setup gonna go now? This is the question. Okay, they got another... They got a wonder tag going on here. I wonder if this is like blared out. Is it better if I have more light on me? Or less? <laughs> Clear. Oh, I'm not gonna mess with it too much. I think it's fine the way it is. So what are we going with here? They get a Skyla. For that Ultra Ball. I always feel like I should put a Ninja Boy in these decks, because then I can like surprise somebody like, Oh, I put too many Mews on the board. Ninja Boy. And then put it into make it into a Lunala Prism Star. We have the Gardevoir. Rare candying it up. And I think they're gonna try to take out that Mew right away. Yep. So we only have to hit it for 200 though. So that's a, a two shot for us. If we can get these energies lined up. That was a fast Gardevoir. Unless I just missed a turn. I don't think I did though. I think that was just a really fast Gardevoir. Um, he has one card. What else is he going to do here? Ah, they were deciding on what were the best two tools. They were reading him because I don't think they knew what Fighting Fury Belt did. Okay, and with that, we are going to put up the Mewtwo because it has free retreat. We get two psychic energies. Um... I feel like I need to put up the other Mew, but... I almost want to risk a... I almost want to risk getting a, a double colorless energy with the Cynthia. Decisions, decisions. Um, it still seems like it's better to... The Mew can copy anything, so maybe we can get a, uh, a Max Elixir. Or just shove it in our face and say, Oh yeah, that DCE you were looking for, here it is. You can't use it now. So we can attack with a uh, Mewtwo's attack again. But it looks like we're set up for next turn a little bit better. I just want to do that here. It's hard to tell which one I should be doing. Um, we're going to go ahead and put it... We'll put it on this one. It has a little more longevity than the other one. We are just going to retreat. Actually, should we even? I feel like we should just fodder this one off. And then set up. Yeah, okay. We're going to stop it right there. I don't want to just ha keep feeding it energies when it has that infinite force and can just do the attacks whenever it wants. So hopefully they will take this bait named Mewtwo not realize that the, the Mew can do some serious damage to it next turn. So there's two options with this Gardevoir. This Gardevoir is set up super fast. So, if we can get a Max Elixir and then put a Psychic Energy down, we can Psy Strike GX with the Mew. Um, otherwise, we can Black Ride GX and set up the Tapu Lele in the back for a knockout later on. It'd be preferable if they had multiple GXs up for this one, but if it's not, that's fine. It still lets us get at least four, get set up for four prizes. Man, my opponent is taking his time, thinking out through all of his 
all of his moves here. Fuel blower, they're getting rid of those floats. And then gonna probably not attack. That way we're trapped in the active. I think that's their goal here. Yep. Question is, are they gonna attack with the Mewtwo? Or are they gonna load up their Gardevoir here? Cause uh, right now Mewtwo does 20, 40, 60 to this Gardevoir. Oh, plus the 20, so it does 80. It does 80 to the Gardevoir itself, so. Which is not enough. But they're trying to trap us here. And we don't really have a way around it. So it looks like we are going to have to attach a DCE and N. I know it gives them one extra card. I'm not terribly worried about it. This is strange that all my max elixirs are working. I do play a heavy count of stuff. Uh, with that, it looks like we're just going to psychic here. <laughs> Make it where they only have 120 HP left. This is a three shot we do not want to do. Silvalley Gardevoir. I've never seen this before. So your romps get out of the way, and you just you're always up there with the Gardevoir, maybe. All right, so we're pulling out something else here now. Let's see what it's gonna be. It's another romps, so they are going pure Gardevoir in this matchup. They have a Gladeon, really, because I have a Gladeon. Mine's better looking though. <laughs> So methodically, our opponent is taking their time. Makes sense. I mean, I didn't want to be here forever, but it is what it is. So they chose their card. They got their Gladion in the prize cards now. An infinite force and take out. Taken out that... YouTube. Uh, so what do we do now? You have 120 HP. How many energies do I have down here? I only have one energy down here. Oh, and that DCE. Yikes, 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 yikes. Well, let's see what we have in our prize cards. I am intrigued. We have our Lily, that's why I couldn't find that. Alter of the Moon, Psychic Energy, Guzmo, Latios. And a Guzma. Guzma's not going to help us. Fighting Fairy Belt. We have Alter of the Moon. Uh oh, we're in a tough spot. We need something that can take a hit. Yeah, we either try to take it out with this Mew. Guess we'll take the Psychic Energy. How am I missing all of these? That is craziness. It's crazy how much I've missed all of these. Um, if we had a DCE, we would totally just go in with the Black Ray, but we don't.
I feel like we just have to start attaching to the Mewtwo here. Like I'd like to full burst, but we just gotta get that Mewtwo up and running. Give them three prizes in the meantime. This is not performing well. Normally this flows a lot better. But maybe the right choice for this Mew Mewtwo is with a, uh, a Zorg or something that can like just flow through the deck at high speeds. Hard to say. But this Gardevoir is going to see if they can figure out a way to attack that, I believe. Like so! I'm going to put up something with that's in the basics so they can retreat back into it. 30, 60, 90. 90 plus 60, it hits for 150. But it's going to minus the 20 because of our pressure ability they need. One more energy. <laughs> As I say it, they, they lay it down. So it should be a exact amount they needed to take that out. Which does suck. Nothing else has free retreat though. Ah, uh, we get the Guzma now. That's awesome. Does not help us. So it has 110, it still has that 120. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So we throw out the moon. Is there anything we could take out? No, not really. We really need to take out this Gardevoir right in front of us here. Um, I'm going to Sycamore because there's a case, there's a chance we'll get a DCE. Or not. Not at all, actually. Uh, and we hit one max elixir out of four. Out of four, we hit one. So, in that case, I actually feel like it's our best bet to... set up this thing. Um, we could Ultra Ball. How many do we have in here? We have four. One, two, three, four, five. So we could get rid of this one more, but that leaves us vulnerable for not having that. Actually, I prefer to get rid of this Sycamore, actually. Over. Okay, we get the full five. We get one of our... We get our main, main attacker back out. And then we go ahead and full moon star here and get all five energies back question is where to put them of course um, I feel like we could put three on this one we only need to hit it for 120 this sets up a secondary let's just get them set up I think so we'll put one here one here, one here. Uh, one here, one here. And ignore Mewtwo. Now I would like to put one on over there too, but he can attack with one energy, all the rest of them cannot. This allows us to set up that Lunala Prism Star to ha attack for 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, plus what's on their side, which is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. So they have enough energy for us to attack for 180. We have enough energy to, for us to attack for 120 um, once that Mew goes down. And I think that's really the way we're going to have to come back and win this game. Is take out that 
So, because they've only gotten the one Gardevoir so far, so we still have a chance to, like, come back and take this. We just gotta take out the Gardevoir, the, uh, Tapu Lele, and the Sil Valley. I knew they were going to do that! And so Valley, they're going to attack and get an energy back. So I think what they're scared of is the Lunala Prism Star. They know that it can take it out pretty easily. So they're trying to push the issue and say, you gotta attack us first. 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 140, 160, 180. Yeah, I guess the question is, like, are we going to Necrozma, or are we going to Illuminale here? Um... It's definitely one of these two. Let me put out Necrozma. Yeah, we'll put out Necrozma. We just gotta hope they do not do something with that. Uh, man, we had to draw another Lele. That kinda sucked. If we were to draw an energy, we actually could have just Guzmud around some stuff. Um, I wanna keep everything I have. And they have a massive hand, so let's get rid of their hand. Come on in. You're our buddy. even though we're not playing Zorax. So, let's see what we get. We get the DCE. Nice. Um, and the Fighting Fury belt. We get a lot of stuff we need, so... There's that. Um, I think... You know, we did not get... The... Uh, I'll try it. Silvalli can't touch us. I think we're just going to do it this way. Um, I think both of our Mies are down. So this is okay. We're going to go ahead and Black Ray, I think, and set up the knockouts on all this stuff. And just hopefully they don't have an Ace of Roar for that Gardevoir. They probably do, though. And that is why you do that. Because they forgot. They forgot that they could not affect us. We're going to do a quick... Does anything hit us? Uh... We want to take out stuff, but we can't quite. We don't have the right cards. Um... So this thing has 110 HP. We hit that with that. We gotta take out the Gardevoir. We really do. By any means necessary. Sh crap. I couldn't make a decision. Needed to Guzma it up and then decide Lele. It's really the, that was my only option. Now we just lost. Oh, well, well the, the deck, as you see, we had our six prizes set up. So, that's unfortunate. That Gardero was super fast, though. We were, it was, it got out right away. And we actually did come back, which was kind of nice. They had one Gardevoir. Literally, all I had to do was take out that one Gardevoir. That is crazy. What? Oh my god. Now I feel like I'm dumb. Okay, okay. So, that was the game. We'll take this deck through a tournament uh, tomorrow. So come back for that, guys. And I will see you guys on the next video. This has been Dapper Drabby. I bid you guys Alola. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.